All right, so the first workout I did for uh, my hypertrophy pull workout was over overhand grip uh, barbell rows. I usually do underhand grip, but I haven't done overhand for a while, so I'm like, you know what, I'll try it. And so I tried it and felt pretty good, you know. Went a little lighter than doing underhand, but I don't know what happened here with the camera. What the? Sorry about that. <laughs> wow. All right. And then I went into uh, lat pull downs. In each in each workout, or no, not each exercise in this, uh, you'll see is was either three to four sets. But right here we did some lat pull downs, and on the last set I did, I did a drop set. I've been doing those a lot lately, on just like maybe one exercise in each workout, just to really get that burn. It feels really good, you know. But yeah, here we go with lat pull downs. These were these felt good. Love the contraction. Again, I'm doing underhand right here. Uh, I usually do underhand. Uh, I remember last pull day I actually did overhand wide grip for some. And that felt good. Felt different. But yeah, we went on to some ISO hammer rows. I guess they can call them. And these, you know, I th these are ones I like to. Either sit down, sometimes even like stand up, and really aim on a different part of the back. And that one I can probably go a little heavier on, maybe like three plates. I remember I did last time. Sitting down and with that grip I'm doing right now, the lower one, I go a little lighter. And then we go to seated dumbbell curls I did today. Just regular old seated dumbbell curls. Nothing special about these. Just curling for my pull day right here I usually usually I try to do both hands at a time but then I uh, fail I go for one one arm at a time to see a little bit more reps in like you saw right there that one arm rep was like a fail but that's why I shook my head right there like no it sucked so there we go one arm at a time just get some more reps in really just squeeze the bicep get the contraction all that good stuff and I'm breathing hard. I'm tired at this point. It's late. This was actually a late pull day, too. It was like 10 o'clock at night. And then I did some rope hammer cable curls. These I actually haven't done for a while. I haven't done cable curls for a while. I saw the cable machine. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do some cable curls. You know why? Because I haven't done them for a while. And, you know, I really felt this in my brachialis. Felt good. I did only two sets on these, though, actually. Just because I was running out of time. I'm like, I got to get home. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I did all my exercises I was supposed to. Like cable curl, the rope cable curl is not on my program. Like nothing, a staple I have to do on my hypertrophy pull day. I just sometimes just decided to throw work little exercises here and there in just for fun of it. And these felt good. I may do them again. Then we went into, I usually like to finish my uh, pull days with a uh, weird delt exercise such as a face pull. And they, they usually are face pulls. Like, you know, here and there I'll do the uh fly rear rear uh rear delt fly machine but face pull is just my favorite i like the way it feels i like the way it just feels in my rear delts and the contractions and everything and as you can see i like to lock out right there then just pull it all the way in go down lock it out then pull really hit the rear delts and that's how i feel them and a lot of times today was actually a good day on my rear delts I didn't, not my adults, my grip on this. Sometimes the grip on this is just a sort of hassle. You have to reset it every single time. But today was good. And that was my hypertrophy pull day. Like, subscribe, and share. Boom.